message on the comm link. Looks like trouble. I think this is something everyone will want to hear. The droid's the one who picked up the message. He's got it all ready to display. Well, good thing it's not a trap. No, Atten. I think it may be a trap. Could you please lighten up for one second? It may be a trap, but traps work both ways. This viscous, his kind is spread through the lower reaches of Nar Shaddaa and he may have information, but the choice is yours. If you go, you will have to go alone. Well, I wouldn't keep him waiting. If you got his attention, you probably attracted the attention of someone else. Look, I wanted to tell you. Be careful. I won't be able to contact you via the comm link if something happens. And I'm betting that Squidhead knows it. Look, take these. They're healing packs. If your suit gets breached, you'll need to inject them fast if you don't want your lungs to seize up. And trust me, once the seizures start, you'll be dead. Watch yourself, and don't be too long. I'll keep an eye out here until you return, and I know just the place. So, you're the big Jedi that everyone's been talking about. You don't look so tough to me. I thought you Jedi were supposed to be smart, and here you are, running around Nar Shadda, sticking your lightsaber into everyone's business. What, were you planning to save everyone on this moon? You're attracting more attention than a fleet of Sith warships. I'm Mira. I'm the best bounty hunter in this system, and that's not me bragging, that's fact. I had you in my sights ever since you landed. I've been watching you run all over the refugee sector like a bantha, and for someone with a price on their head as high as yours, you sure don't know how to keep a low profile. Look, I know that Squidhead Visquis sent you a message to meet him in the Jek Jek Tar. He works for Godo, and it's a trap. I'm betting he's gonna lure you in there, start a fight, and then he's gonna wrap you up and deliver you to Goto. Dead, claiming you attacked him. Just this. I know you're meeting with Visquis. If I know about it, that means everybody else on this moon knows about it, or will soon enough. And when that happens, the bounty hunter truce is off. That means things are gonna get real ugly real quick. Now, I don't think you get it. They're not gonna come after you. I think your friends are the ones in trouble. Well, this sure beats staying on the ship. A few drinks to keep me on my toes, a few games of Pazak to keep the mind alert. 
Should be enough to keep me out of trouble until our fearless leader straightens things out. Give me a hit of Juma. Keep him coming. Well, looks like staying on the ship was a bad idea after all. So, I don't think I caught your names. Uh, you two work here? Or... <laughs> Renfiloso ni hekuchupa naret atamakcha unsora sancha tarakcha konka kamakichu. Yeah? What happened to your master? Kichu no kada mirenito. Renfiloso ni hekuchupa naret atamakcha tono tocha tocha ramakaka musuran kana jowana masaranka ma ramazurata keso juskrita lorsa. You much a fool, Echo Mikojira. No, actually, I'm here protecting someone, keeping them out of trouble by acting as a distraction for people looking to harm her. To want him, Malari? Gonna we so to run the cranny? The hoopo botanio go jucho picha, quem taba ni sochu, nor toga proto la la shishi, jula dosa jibacha, ratakman san, tokosha na chitolo, cavadumpe masura ku, popayi botanya, tachemorosa gamsa, javasco bosabjo. Why don't you two shut us try it and we'll see what happens? Do not go here to put us aboard. Chris Sorcha went in the main boat. Lord Chawata, you my knee. Hold on, you my this. That boat and no cheat. Tagua ita. No so copa put. Brentaba nin sucho. Oh! <laughs> 
That's it. The bounty hunter truce is off. That means this place is gonna get real bad, real fast. Better get back to the ship. Warn the others. I don't know why a Jedi would come here. There's so much noise on this moon. Of course, it makes detecting a Jedi difficult. But to be in a place where one drowns in the Force, why would a Jedi wish that? A simple question, to which I ask another. Why should a Jedi want to hide? Hey, we need to move out. What are you talking about? What is wrong? The truce between the bounty hunters and Nar Shadda is off. There's gonna be a war. A trap in the Jek Jek Tar is bad enough, but having a hundred bounty hunters on your back is something else. She was told to meet alone. We cannot disrupt their meeting until the alien reveals the information he has. Look, we need to move. They're coming after us, not the Exile. If they are coming after us, then they will be after her as well. We need to go and rescue her. Yeah, you're right. But I'm guessing we're in a lot more trouble than she is. Look at Kamara and also run with no chabi. The runner most evil and assurance. Kramer Sukun Ratungala. Chawi Moju Kosoracha. Look at Kamara and also run with no chabi. Febko Emariam Dawata Situ in Sula Rakarakachata. Anybody here catch that? All I understood was very. I think he wanted us to give up the general to his poorly trained collection of bounty hunters. Ah, well, that would explain it. Which one do you want? I'll take the stupid one, who decided to threaten us rather than shoot us when he had the chance. This is one of my safe houses. It's, it's not too pretty to look at, but keeps away prying eyes. Yeah, well, it's one of those trade-offs. All the freighter exhaust from the docks, you know. Some aliens actually like breathing it, if you can believe it. You know Visquis is arranging a trap for you in the Jek Jek Tar. No surprise there. Thing is, he intends to cut the bounty hunters out of the loop and deliver you to Goto personally. <laughs> Not smart from where I'm standing. Well, for one thing, you're going to stay here, and I'm going to meet with Visquis instead. Well, that smell you noticed when you came in? It's probably filtering through your lungs right now. I upped the dosage in case you had some Jedi training to resist poisons. Anybody without olfactory blockers, like I have, is going to start feeling dizzy and eventually fall unconscious. Good night, Jedi. Let me just take that environment suit, and I'll be back soon.
Yeah, and maybe you'd like to explain why you've decided to backstab Goto and claim a Jedi for yourself. <laughs> You signed on with Boba the Hutt? Viscous, you're dumber than I thought. There's no way Goto won't find out. My bounty, and that means she's under my protection. should be wearing off soon, but not before we've spoken. When I first heard you were a Nar Shaddaa, I didn't quite believe it. I didn't think anyone could track me here, but I see I underestimated you. I've been trying to discover your purpose in coming here, but it eludes me. Some of your actions have aided the exchange, others have thwarted it. I did not know your intentions when you stood before us at your trial so long ago, and I do not know them now. But whatever they are, you have succeeded in drawing me out. If anything, you should know that your actions have convinced me I can stand by and watch no longer. Whatever harm the exchange harbors against Jedi, I will not let another suffer for it. A friend has gone to meet Visquis in your stead, and I intend to rescue her. I will return shortly, or not at all. If you have come to this moon for answers, or for revenge, then you will follow me. For if I fail, then you will be denied both.
Jedi can hold their breath for hours. Days.
kill you, but I will if you don't get out of my way.
stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Easy. Stand back. Easy. Stand back. Easy. Stand back. Easy. <laughs> 
Your friend has been captured by Goto. your life, beast. That makes it mine. Kneel. Because I need you to hunt, beast. 
This prey is something you have chased all your life. You are born and bred to it like no predator before you. No, that you shall not do. You will not bring harm to the exile, and if you do, beast, I shall break you. Even your madness will not save you if you bring harm to the exile. Know this. Oh, the life debts of your people, the life debt you have twisted with your hate, I felt it within you. I shall promise you this, beast. Unlike the red-maned huntress, as long as you are loyal, I shall never show you mercy, no pity. But most of all, I promise you an end to your debt. Hunt her, pursue her, kill her, and ending her life will end your debt to me. The pain will pass. I was able to heal some of the wounds, but the rest must remain. You will need that pain when you travel, and it will give you strength for the hunt to come. I will tell you where you must go. If you survive that place, then she will come to you. But first, I must prepare you for what is to come. Uh, you're running a little late. Your friend already walked into a trap in the Jack Jack Tar. We took out Visquis, but Godo has her. And that means no bounty for me. There's no way to get her back. No one knows how to reach Godo except Visquis. And that squid had died in the Jack Jack Tar. The only way to reach Goto is if we had a Jedi. But now, he's got your friend. He doesn't have anybody else he wants captured. He's got a cloaking device. He's the one that arranges the meetings on his ship, and until then, he can't be found. Trust me, if anyone knew how to track his ship, he'd have every bounty hunter and criminal on Nar Shaddaa gunning for it. If you were hunting for Godo's yacht, your freighter would be flying blind. Well, unless it was one of Voga the Hutt's cargo ships. Then it would be snapped up by Godo pretty quick. Godo's been preying on Vaga's freighters for a while now. It's the reason Vaga's had to haul his bulk up here to Nar Shaddaa from Nel Hutta. Even with all the traffic around Nar Shaddaa, Godo seems to always know which ones are Vogas, and his ship just snaps them up. Probably does it by tracking their transponder codes, but no one knows how he's getting them. I guess. You'd need to get the codes first, then retrofit your ship so it had the right transponder signal. Problem is, Vogus shut down the droid warehouse until he can find out who's been leaking the codes. You'd have to be a droid to get in there. Before I accept this, I must ask you how you acquired this particular droid. I see. There should be no problems then. Credits will be transferred to your account as usual. Let's get you to work. Report to C7 E3 for assignment. I certainly hope that rude C7 unit didn't send you over here. Those more recent models have no etiquette programming whatsoever. I think he should be replaced or shipped down to maintenance to direct droids there. But I cannot seem to convince my masters of the logic of the request. 
Oh, I wouldn't go that far, despite what others would say. A number designation for a C7 unit means far more than an integer increase. Some droids undergo radical changes with each generation. Each numeric jump in sequence can have wide-ranging changes in functionality and temperament. But then, you are a new model yourself. I wouldn't expect you to understand how it feels. Now, was there something I could help you with? I see. Well, good day to you then. I am sorry, but only authorized cargo droids are allowed into the warehouse. I cannot permit you to enter due to the sensitive cargo. No. In fact, I do not have you on my list of Kodin's acquisitions. How did you get in here? I see. Well, I have no current use for you. I'll assign you to C6E3. He needs the help to make up for his inferior programming. If you do not wish to comply with these instructions, I can have you given a memory point and behavioral reprogramming. Good. Now report to C6E3. You will be assisting him. Oh, you're back. What can... That C7 droid absolutely infuriates me. Needs help to do my job, do I? I would be happy to help you, but as long as that C7 unit is perched at the door, I can't. Well, if the C7 unit were to be disabled, my programming would require me to take over his responsibilities in his absence. Yes, I would be willing to give you access to the next room. Yes, what is it? You can't be serious. I am not in need of the activation. What are you talking about? What's all the commotion? Oh, I see. Well, that will show it. Obsolete piece of junk indeed. Yes, of course. I'll get that open right away. Just a moment. There. Oh my, you startled me. What are you doing here? I monitor the transponder codes of all ships leaving the docks, then transmit departure information for any of Vaga the Hutt's freighters. The information is sent to a remote computer system. Oh, I see. In that case, I will upload the transponder codes to you. And here's the blank transponder card you need. You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go back to monitoring the traffic. It is important that relevant departure information is relayed as quickly as possible. I'm sorry. 
I'm quite busy at the moment. supposed to be here. Confident statement. You have the list of Volga's launch codes. You will give these to us now, or else we will be forced to take drastic action. Surprised statement. You are foolish to think we will allow you to take that information back to your master. Amused query. I think you will find the odds are somewhat in our favor. Now will you be giving us the codes, or not? Incredulous statement. Then we will have to take them from you, which I assure you was our preference to begin with. Optimal accuracy ratio achieved. Optimal accuracy ratio achieved. Astromech droid. I thought you got sold. I don't believe this. He says he's got the transponder codes that Godo's using to hijack Voga's freighters. We can change the ID signature of the Ebon Hawk and get to Godo's yacht that way. We could go to the repair shop by the landing pad to overhaul the Ebon Hawk's codes. From there, we should make a nice target for Godo. Count me in. Yeah, right. You're the one who wanted to sell her to Goto in the first place. Yeah, and I don't like being cheated, trust me. Goto's yacht is going to have some pretty heavy defenses. You're going to need all the help you can get. I rent or rent, I Papa Nala Ranch. Do you know where I'm going to go? 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 Where I'm
was expecting someone taller. I hope you are not in too much pain to hear my words and understand them. I am Goto, one of the officials representing a percentage of non-sanctioned trading here in both the YouTube system and Republic Space. And I had a question for you. Are you a Jedi? Indeed. That is unfortunate. Still, perhaps you have some value. I have gone to considerable expense and effort to bring you here. It is because I have a job for you. Yes, but I am not in the habit of asking for things. And you were so difficult to find even after that small incident on Paragus. There is something important to me I need protected. The Republic, it is broken. What happened on Paragus has set in motion events that I can no longer control. Not to be melodramatic, but I fear it has broken the galaxy irrevocably. This has occupied much of my attention, and there seems to be no predictable way to resolve the situation. In one standard month, the Republic will collapse. Not due to war or secession, but because it lacks the infrastructure to support itself. It is unknown to all but a few, but the Sith won the Jedi Civil War. Even with their supposed victory, the war left the Republic on the brink of collapse. Rather than remain and help solidify the Republic, however, Revan chose to leave known space. A frustrating turn of events, as a rallying figurehead could have done much to restore order. There is something moving in the galaxy that lies beyond the ability of my instruments to detect or predict. I believe it to be a legacy of the Sith, but I have been unable to determine the source. Whatever this presence is, it is staging strikes at key figures throughout the Republic, and through some unknown means, it is causing the destruction of worlds. Qatar, a Miraluka world in the Mid-Rim was one such place. I have reason to suspect there was a gathering of Jedi on that world when it was rendered lifeless. I cannot find any pattern in these attacks, and it is a source of frustration to me. There is some clue, however, that perhaps the Jedi are linked to these attacks, or that the targets are significant in some way I have yet to discover.
loss purposes. I cannot set you free. You have a tendency to cause dangerous repercussions wherever you go, and I would rather keep those to a minimum. The galaxy really is a fragile place right now. I am a businessman. The Republic needs stability to survive, prosper, and grow. Whether it is led by the Sith or supported by the Jedi is of no consequence to me. It is the proximity alarm. We are under attack. Somehow, your allies have found you. Unexpected. You will remain here, under guard. I must see to the defense of my ship. Let me take care of this. Pure Pazak. Ready? I hear you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stand back. Easy.
Run? I didn't run from you two shutters last time, and this time I'm gonna make sure you stay down. More where that came from!
Where would that came from? I can't believe we just blew up Godot's yacht. That's gonna destabilize crime throughout this whole sector. Yeah, well, you'll understand if I hold back the tears. You don't understand. Crime in the YouTube system, it's like the economy. Plus the power vacuum. Even if Voga gets up and running again, the system is gonna be feeling the effects for years to come. Yeah, well, at least we didn't find that Jedi Master with the weird name. Is this Kyle? Um, well, that's not true. I already found him. Actually, he found me first. He hired me to watch out for you, keep Goto off your back, until he could meet with you. We'll need to head back to Narshada, to that safe house off the docks. I said I'd meet up with him there if we ran into any trouble. What do you want now? If you thought to escape Fido so easily, you would be wrong. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift, this droid. It will serve you well on your journey. As I indicated, this unit will remain with you and guard you. It will also serve as an effective voice for my orders during your journey. So, you have returned from exile. Kavar thought you might, if only to wander your old battlegrounds. But I did not think you would come to Nar Shaddaa. Still, you were always a difficult one to read, both when you were tied to the Force, and even more when it was lost to you. 
I do not know. It was a sense he had, and he had served in war as you had. Perhaps he thought he understood you, or maybe he simply hoped he did. He felt you were the key to understanding the threat we face. The others were not so certain, but so many of them are gone now, as you no doubt know. Uh, he sensed some connection between you and many of the worlds touched by war. He thought by traveling to such places, he could achieve understanding. No doubt. I think the answers will provide us both with some measure of peace. I have kept secrets for far too long. They have scattered, but there is purpose in their movements. It is both to hunt and draw out our enemies. Somehow, they, we, are being targeted through the Force, and when Jedi gather, we are vulnerable. So we have chosen places where it is difficult to sense others through the Force, whether on planets dense with life, or touched by war. In such places, we may conceal ourselves, gather information, without presenting ourselves as targets. It was part of Kavar's plan. Yes, he felt if our enemy cannot detect us, then perhaps they would believe themselves victorious and show themselves. And we knew that the war would be lost if we continued to act as we had. I do not know where they wander now. There are few of us, though. Too few. And I have not heard from them in some time. Brook still lives? I had not felt his presence for some time. What I can tell you, I will. We told you it was because you followed Revan to war, but you ask because you are not certain of that answer, nor were we. The day we cast you out, that is the moment I decided to leave the Order, because I do not believe we truly faced the reasons you were exiled, and if we do not examine such truths, then we are already lost. I think it was because we were afraid. It is a difficult thing to live one's life with the Force. To see a vision of what it would be like to be severed from it, it is more frightening than you know. Very well. Ah, so the records of your trial were found. Good. Sometimes I think this galaxy would be a better place if there were less Jedi secrets. But I have no answer for you. As much as I would like to give one, we vowed never to speak of it. And although I would not keep promises to Jedi, I keep promises I make to others. And Kavar was a friend. If we were gathered as one, then the promise might be revoked. Until then, I can say nothing. Very well. I had thought perhaps that here upon the Smuggler's Moon, I might find some evidence of the threat we faced. The bounties on Jedi and their disappearance. I did not believe the two were connected, but there was a chance. And the strong currents of life here on Nar Shadda make perceiving a Force user difficult. I could use it to cloak my movements and watch without being discovered. No, you are right. That is not the whole truth. It is difficult to detect a Force user on Nar Shadda. And I knew it. This threat we face. It leaves wounds in the Force when it strikes. It leaves nothing. To live life without the Force, to vanish and die and leave only an echo, it was terrifying. To be connected to all life around you, then to have it stripped, I can only imagine what it must have been like for you. But even that imagining cannot compare with the truth. But there is more than that. A Nar Shadda, one cannot escape what was left from the Jedi Civil War. From the failure of the Masters, from our failure to properly train Jedi, came disaster. And I wondered if perhaps the teachings of the Jedi had been our failing all along. There have been so many failures by teachers who believed in the Code with all their being. Master Arka failed Ulik, as Master Boss failed Exar Kun, as Kay and Zar and the others of the Council failed Revan and Malak. For all the acts we do to preserve the galaxy, from such an arrogance that all we do is right and just, I wonder if there is a counter-effect that is created, 
that strikes back at us. Exar Kun, Uluk Keldroma, Malak, Revan, you, all Jedi. There is something wrong in the Force. A wound, a sound that is growing, like a scream. You can hear it echo in Nar Shadda. Sometimes when the moon is on orbit, it is a frightening thing to feel. That perhaps being connected to all life is not enlightenment at all, but simply another doom. And I think that maybe, perhaps, to forsake the Force as you did, to cut loose our bonds, may not be the wrong thing to do. You taught me something important in the Council Chamber long ago, Exile, and it has stayed with me all these years. You were right to do what you did, everything you did. Now, now I must take up the role I was ready to cast aside. This threat has finally revealed itself, and we Jedi will need to stand together. I did not speak fully of what I have felt. Staying on Nar Shadda, it is an exile of sorts, one that I have chosen. I, too, lost a Padawan on Malachor, not to the battle, but to the alternative, to the teachings that Revan brought from the unknown regions. And I was not the only Jedi Master to watch a student turn on them. No, no, they were not to blame, but many of the Order did so. It was a difficult time, a time of strong emotion. Perhaps the Council, perhaps the Order itself, had grown arrogant in their teachings. It is easy to cast blame, but it is perhaps time the Order accepted responsibility for their teachings and their arrogance, and come to recognize that perhaps we are flawed. Not once did I hear one of the Council claim responsibility for Revan, for Exar Kun, for Ulik, for Malak, or for you. Yet, you were the only one who came back from the wars to face our judgment. And rather than attempting to understand why you did what you did, we punished you instead. Our one chance to see where we had gone wrong, and we cast it aside. And now, that decision has come back to us and may carry with it our destruction. Perhaps there is something wrong in us, in our teachings, and though I tried, I could not cause that thought to leave me, so I left the Council. And I was not the only one. That is why many scattered, and why many in the Republic do not trust us, and why we do not trust ourselves. Make no mistake, I am no Jedi. This is the end, you see. After this, there will be nothing, and I think it will be for the best. Do you wish to do battle now? I have nothing more to say. It provides no comfort at all, for reasons in which I still must keep secret. Suffice to say, redemption was not Revan's choice, and I have never believed those of the Council who attempt to console themselves otherwise for the crime they committed. But we have spoken enough, I think, and words I think dull us both. Let us speak through the Force, through sparring. This is a long war, I fear with many battles left to fight. You will need to conserve your strength when using the Force, if you hope to make it through the long road ahead. This form heightens your affinity to the Force, allowing you to gather your strength faster, even in the midst of combat. Perhaps Exile has been good to you indeed. It has certainly not dulled your instincts, nor the speed at which you learn. I shall go to Dantooine, to the ruins of the Enclave. If you gather the others, I will meet you there. And thank you, Exile. You're returning. It is good that you are back among us.
Kavadumpa Munsuru Kupla Liyawa. be my pleasure. Meditation, Envy? Why don't you go sit on a rocket? Calm down. What is your problem? I don't want to talk about it. All right, you know, Atten, sometimes it's no wonder you can't figure yourself out the way you lie to yourself all the time. I've hunted a lot of people in my line of work, but I never met someone who wants to get lost more than you do. I've got a pretty good idea why, but not the whole picture. I will, though. My advice? Come clean before I find out. And stop watching her. She's got enough problems. Iridonian, if I might have a moment. What is it, Goto? I have spent some time in the presence of your remote, and the upgrades you have performed on him are quite adequate. I am impressed with your work, though less so with your remote itself. What's wrong with my remote? I find his use of resources, energy spent on frivolous things to be an unsightly waste. But it is obvious you have some skill, however slight, in the upgrading of machines. I want you to provide me with similar upgrades. I should be able to do something. I will see what I can do next time I have a free moment. If you've got some time, I'd like to see what I can upgrade for you. Yes, I do have a few moments to spare for your work. I would like to know what he is doing here, though. He helps me out with repairs. That isn't a problem, is it? I suppose not. Perhaps in working on my circuitry, your assistant will learn something about how a fully functional droid is constructed. Just ignore him and let's get to work. I would appreciate that. Our group has little in the way of time to spare, and I would not want to delay you from your other duties. Right. Let's get you open. See what you can do. I have to say, you are put together quite well. <laughs> there wasn't much to do. As I told you, my design is streamlined and efficient, though I am pleased that you were able to make some improvements, and this was not just a waste of my valuable time. There were a few things from my remote that I was able to integrate into your construction. I see. Well, thank you. I'll let you get back to your work. systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. 
and my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. Answer. I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here, although this place does seem familiar. Extrapolation. Perhaps someone was already in the process of rebuilding me. It may be I was needed for some task. Answer. If by okay, you mean the loss of almost all my existing assassination protocols, then no, I am not okay. Furthermore, I seem to have no discretionary control over my vocabulator, causing me to reveal my true function as an assassin droid of unrivaled sophistication. Answer. It seems you would know more than I. My memory centers are experiencing some setbacks. Reflection. Of course, for some reason, that does not alarm me. I suspect I have suffered such repeated memory failures before. Still, the loss of my higher combat and assassination protocols is shameful and degrading. Answer. Oh, that is impossible, Master. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. And regardless, I am a unique model. Why to think that there would be other versions of me would be unacceptable. Statement. Master, I must inform you that your attempts at humor are wasted on a droid such as I. As I have expressed, I am unique. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist in your attempts at humor, I shall indulge you. Let me check the ship's records, and we will settle this matter once and for all. Conclusion. You speak the truth. This discovery is also causing me some degree of anger and humiliation. Mockery. Am I all right? Oh, yes, Master. Why, I am fine. Statement. I mean, I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me running all over the galaxy, corroding my good name. But if they are in fact hunting you, then I look forward to the opportunity to meet these units and educate them in proper assassination protocols. Conclusion. So it seems I need you, for the time being. Recitation. Yes, as I said, I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy. Master, oh how I hate that term. Answer. No, Master. Uh -uh. I said it again. Answer, yes, master. Answer, yes, master. HK-47 is ready to serve. Ah, HK-47. I did not realize that you still existed, especially now that the other generations are activated. Query, what is it you wish, that one? I see that your recent reassembly has not affected your behavior core, nor your attitude. Statement, if I require a similar diagnostic in the future, I shall seek out the Iridonian. Oh, I do not think so. There is much work that needs to be done first. Statement. My memory core has suffered some damage. Statement. Yet somehow, a gap in my circuits makes me feel as if I should remember you. Statement. This is all the more important since during my routine inspection of all potential escape routes from this vessel, I made an interesting discovery. Observation. The Nava computer is voice locked. As a consequence, you are now responsible for course corrections and astrogation. Statement. 
that is indeed a great burden. It also raises many questions. Query, why would someone lock the computer? Answer, presumably to hide where one has been. Statement, I believe this ship has been somewhere. Somewhere you wish to keep him. serious repairs, but you should be able to patch up any broken droids. You know, I think it's time I gave your cutting laser a little boost. It works fine for repairs, but we could use your help in a firefight. Don't worry about it. We'll make sure they keep you out of their scopes. Think of it this way. You can keep Goto in line with it. Mm -hmm. 